Hello everyone, this is Lab 2, Lines of Charge by Adam Ferritus. Um, to introduce, uh, the purpose of the lab was to determine the charge on a clear piece of tape, just like Lab 1. Uh, explore the physical properties of Coulomb's Law and the Momentum Principle, and observe the effects of charged objects on their surroundings and the transfer of electrons. And the model I have on the right is just a very oversimplified model of the calculations that we are going to do in this lab. Uh, the procedure of this lab was very similar to the same uh, to lab one. Uh, we ensured that U-tape is daily charged by rubbing a plastic pen and observing the repulsion of the tape from the pen. And we repeated this process with another piece of tape, again ensuring it is negatively charged so they will repel. We secured one tape in an elevated position and held another piece below it, measured the distance between the tapes caused by the repulsion, and then repeated the steps and averaged out the distance to eliminate human error. Some assumptions made. Um, we use the tape's length to assume the tape's mass and the number of electrons within the tape. Uh, assumed atoms were arranged in a perfect lattice, neglected air resistance, and assumed the tapes hold the same charge evenly distributed along the length of the tape. And now the model on the right, um, the green arrows represent the electric field from the bottom tape to the top um, and what that field, or sorry, not the field, but the force on each point. So let's say we had a point here. This could represent this arrow here or this arrow here. Um, the uh, yellow arrow represents the mass of the top tape, while the white arrow represents the net force of the bottom tape on the top. Uh, just here's just some data. Uh, you can look at this, at the derived values of the tape mass, surface area, and the number of atoms. In these uh, measurements were used in constants in the code in order to to uh, correctly calculate the force. Now here's my code, or the important part of my code. Um, this for loop was basically used as an integral to iterate through each piece of the charge in the top, pa top tape. Um, uh, we initialized the net field, um, we iterated through each piece in the bottom, and then used those piece, each piece where it integrated, it calculated the electric field and then calculated the electric force on the top due to the bottom. So integrated through the bottom and calculated the force right there. And then also the tape, or also, sorry, the code represented the uh, force gravity and the net force as well. Uh, some things to reflect on. Uh, if we had modeled each tape as a single point charge, um, and why do these estimates differ? Well, they differ because the single point charge does not take into account the uh, electric field across the whole tape. Now, when we take into account the electric field from the whole tape, it's gonna be a more realistic uh, outlook on what the tape is actually, or how the tapes interact with each other. Um, so that's why the value calculated on this lab is gonna be much closer to the real value because it more accurately represents what is going on in real time. Thank you.